my chicken. You get your butt back here right now. Thelma, Thelma, you get back right there. Remember? <laughs> Daryl, I'm not coming that. home. So I can recite the whole movie. <laughs> it's classic. Brad Pitt is in it. So if you haven't rented it, just do yourself a favor today. All right, guys, welcome back to more. The world, the world feminist, which Thelma and Louise would both be, gets thrown around a lot, but not everyone agrees upon its real meaning. Now, as more and more stars are saying they prefer to be submissive, that word seems to have multiple definitions as well. Now, Candace Cameron Burr has been criticized lately for saying that she likes being submissive to her husband of nearly 20 years. And many gasped when actress Kaylee Cuoco said she loves, quote, being a girly housewife and she's not a feminist. Now, even Lady Gaga has spoken out about being submissive. Just listen to this recent radio interview. Oh, yeah, he's like totally in charge. I mean, when I'm home, I'm like, shoes are off. I'm making him dinner, you know. I mean, he has a job, too, and he's really busy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I, I'm in charge all day long. The last thing I want to do is tell him what to do. And we're just really good friends. I like so. that. In the, uh, it's in the video. It's not relationships to tell men what to do. No. Female oh. listeners. <laughs> Um, he's Taylor Kinney. He's the star of Chicago Fire. <laughs> I'd let him be in charge, too. <laughs> anyway. All right, so what is a girl to do? Is the word submissive off-putting to women? What about those who call themselves feminists or not? Dr. Courtney Warren joins us now with more. And this word, you know, Gloria Stein is probably like, you guys are using it wrong. I mean, yes. it really can have a negative connotation. It can be very confusing. Like Kaylee Cuoco said in this recent interview, I'm not really a feminist. I love being home and being married. And they're like, you made a million dollars an episode because of women who paved the way. So mm -hmm. she got a lot of flack, you know? Yes, it's true. And really at the basic level, feminism just means that women are of equal value to men. It doesn't mean that we have to be the same. It doesn't mean that we have the same gender role. It doesn't mean that we have the same responsibilities in our relationships. It just means that what we do as women should be equally important, respected, appreciated. I like that. As what men do. So it doesn't mean like if people had conjure these ideas of you're a feminist, you're out burning your bra, and you can't be traditional cooking dinner at home or cleaning, but really you can be all those things, right? Yes, absolutely. And in terms of relationships, it's very complicated, right? Because what each of us want in a rom romantic relationship yeah. particularly differs to some degree. But in terms of marital satisfaction, one thing that's really clear in the research is that we want to feel appreciated and respected for what we do to contribute to the health of our family and Absolutely. our relationship, right? And so, maybe like with Lady Gaga, she is the boss of her empire. So when she comes home, maybe it works for her to, to let herself take a back seat and let him do more of the heavy lifting, you know? Absolutely. And if that works for her or many other women, I hope they're happy and that it's fulfilling. Do you think that it can be, um, like with men, men can be feminists too, right? They oh, can yes. support, you know, women going out there and conquering and doing everything too, right? Absolutely. Men can be just as feminist as women. Absolutely. Excellent. So what do you think? I mean, do you think that the word still has a place in 2015 or do you think it needs to like just have more of an understanding of what that really is? I definitely think the word still has a place in 2015 because there are many ways that we see gender-based inequities in the world. Uh, for example, this is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Wow. So sex trafficking, which is a massive problem globally. That is a feminist issue. It's a human woman's rights issue because so many of these individuals are young women, young girls. And so I do think feminism has a place, but I think people are still reactive to the word mm -hmm. because of its historical context in radical feminism, which is more of the bra burning, uh, aggressive kind of feminism. Yeah, you could be a conservative traditionalists and still be a feminist at the same time and you know yes. not just you know you can be June Cleaver at home but also be a CEO at work right absolutely yeah absolutely and I think in terms of relationships you really just have to decide what you want your gender role to be mm -hmm. so what what relationship expectations do you have for yourself and your partner traditionally historically June Cleaver age you had a man who was responsible for the financial sector if you were in a heterosexual relationship and the woman who was responsible for the domestic sector. And in that way, each person had power. Mm -hmm. They Absolutely. each had some degree of ownership over their realm, their arena, and it was appreciated by each partner, hopefully, so that each each relationship was happy and fulfilling. But it's still there's still some, like you said, inequality because 
isn't it true that it's still for the same job women earn 70 cents on the dollar it so. is true and if you consider other factors like race ethnicity it's worse wow all right i mean it's mm -hmm. yeah so that's it's like you said it's still a place for it maybe at 2025 it'll all be even and we don't even need any word to yes. describe anything so yes thank you I, I hope <laughs> we hope we'll see jay like i said jason is supporter yes. of all women they can any role he wants right jason